The LA Art Show is the largest art fair in the Western United States. Every year, over 50,000 visitors come to see modern art pieces that are flown in from all over the world. Trends in the art industry change quickly, and the most recent trend has put Asian artists at the forefront. This year, the LA Art Show has put a separate space to the display modern works of art from China. This year, we're, um, it's the largest show we've ever had here in Los Angeles with 114 galleries. And we have several galleries that come from Korea as well as a featured program from China with 12 galleries from China. So we're very excited to have that Asian component in the show this year. Eight galleries from Korea participated in the show presenting experimental modern art. One of the more creative arts that I've, that I've seen. I really love the Korean art. I noticed that they have an incredible uh, use of color, but the imagination here is incredible. The PYO Gallery was specially invited by the LA Art Show itself. You walk towards it. That's only you can, right. It's and as you move around, you'll be able to see that the whole piece moves. moves. With you. Yes, yes. Right. I love right. that. Heidi Zhang continues to receive accolades for her creative and original work. People actually have to look at Korean art in a more of a separate eyes. So they don't really try to compare it to what they already know, but have to see it as more of something very different and fresh and something they love. Six years ago, Korean galleries began to appear internationally for the first time. However, most Korean galleries were unable to keep their place and retreated from the scene soon after entering it. What was the problem? In 2006, the PYO Gallery, which was begun in Seoul in 1981, opened a branch in Beijing. In 2008, it became the first Korean gallery to have a branch in Los Angeles. We were actually looking for something that actually has more new energy. And for a long time, LA has not been the center of art. There are a lot of artists living in this area, however, Gallery scene has been not as exciting. Korean galleries had not seen the potential of exhibiting in Los Angeles. Heidi Jung's decision to branch out PYO Gallery here proved right on target. See how it, it moves because this is the Artists in Los Angeles hoping to break into the Asian market flocked to the gallery. Pure is for me is from now on very important galleries because the, uh, they have uh, galleries in, 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 in Seoul and in Beijing and so you know it's a possibility that I'll be able to sh have a show there as well as here. Heidi Zhang did not insist on Americanization to raise the status of PYO Gallery in the United States. The gallery remains supportive of Korean artists. She looks for artists who can express the Korean spirit without having it overwhelm their works. We're not specifically looking for certain Koreanness from these certain type of artists. We're looking for great art that happens to be Korean. I've been trying to absorb the best of Asia and, uh, you know, um, sort of interpret it in the contemporary language and share it to, you know, with the world. So um, I've incorporated uh, ceramic celadon, um, white porcelain, and lacquer inlaid with mother of pearl. Heidi Zhang has been working hard for three years, but there is still a long road ahead. I'm going to a gallery right now to research for an artist 
for a project that we have in Korea. We are looking for an uh, outdoor sculptor that who we might be able to place in one of our buildings. Now it is time for the gallery to spend its energy on creating a solid network. That's the courtyard and the gallery. So it is only with a thorough understanding of an area's artistic so trends that the gallery can present its visitors with art that is appropriate, yet new and fresh. She does for Los, the, the community of Los Angeles is, is priceless. Additionally, the way that she presents her exhibitions, they have such uh, outstanding quality and sensitivity to them that it is also an additional learning experience for anybody who's interested in the arts. PYO Gallery has matured in such a way that it is not known to Los Angeles as a Korean gallery, but rather as a gallery with good art. I like Asian art, and so I've met up with some new galleries opening in town, and this is one of the ones that I thought was unusual because it's Korean-owned. I know that in Los Angeles, um, that from all the galleries that I know, from uh, people that I talk to in the art world, that they um, they talk about this gallery being uh, at a whole different level. I would like PYO Gallery not to be just known as a you know, successful going gallery in Los Angeles or not even USA. We would like PYO Gallery's name to be known as what it is. Anywhere in the world, anybody asks, they would know what we are, what we represent, and how we work. That's what I would like PYO Gallery to be. Careful artistic selections guided by meticulous analysis and research. And remaining true to its Korean roots, these are the reasons that PYO Gallery now stands tall in cities spanning the globe.